the title of this writing is Adult and Immature. The grasshopper asked if you can be an adult and be immature at the same time. My experience informs my answer. It's yes. For example, a friend immediately comes to mind. She is by all measurements a responsible adult. She also has a giant polarity response. That means if you say black, she'll say white. One of the biggest signs of immaturity in an adult is a well-developed polarity response. She ticks that box. Another sign of immaturity is the lack of ability to be counted on. The person I have in mind seemingly has all the hallmarks of adulthood. Takes care of his family, does his job well, gives to charity, and loves his dog. But when push comes to shove, you can count on him to pick up a shovel. He may agree to help out, but almost always you can't count on him. Three more traits that round out my top five signs of immaturity are 1. Failure to take responsibility 2. Failure to apologize 3. Upset with everyone If you'd like to read more about these five signs, start reading on page 144 of my free ebook, Interruption, The Magic Key to Lasting Change. You can read it online or download it at my website, grasshoppernotes.com. That's grasshoppernotes.com. Most of my readers are adults, but most of us have some percentage of immaturity. That's a reality. The good news is we can grow up a little bit more by addressing our little corner of an immature world. That means to recognize the part we play when our immaturity is on display. Start noticing if you deny responsibility, or have Fonzie's inability to apologize, or tar everyone with your ire instead of just the person who caused your belly to be on fire. When you notice your immaturity about to come out and play, Interrupt that behavior and be an adult for a day. The more often you notice and interrupt, the less often you'll be denied a seat at the adult table. We can all benefit by growing up. We just have to stop drinking from an immature cup. All the best, John.